Hi there, it's Mr. Leatherwood and Mrs. Weeks. And we are going to talk about compatible numbers today or friendly numbers. Friendly numbers. That's what we used to call them in third grade, yes. so they might remember that. That's right. So compatible numbers are numbers that are getting you closer to the actual number. So it's still estimating, but you don't have the strict rules like you do with rounding. Right, exactly. Okay. So the way we're going to kind of talk about this is we're just going to use some examples. So 25 plus 37. Okay, let's go ahead and get the actual answer so we can kind of see the difference here. Okay. So 25 plus 37 gives us? 62. 62. I love all the input that you give. Hi, thank okay. you. Uh-huh. So just then we're... Just cheer you on. <laughs> yeah, just my little cheerleader. It works out great. <laughs> so then rounding, after our rounding video that we did, uh, we know that 25 rounds to 30. Right. All right. Because that five's going to bump it up. Bump That's it up. Strong enough to bump that up. We should have said that in our video, made a song like bump it up. No? Okay. Yes. Anyway. A little rap. Yeah. So then 37 is going to bump up. To 40. To 40 because of that seven in the ones place. Yep. So then if we get that total, 30 plus 40 equals 70. 70. Okay. Which is still, it's estimating, it's still very close to the mm -hmm. answer, but with compatible numbers, it's going to give us a chance to get a little bit closer. And with compatible numbers, we try to get maybe to the closest 5 or the closest 10. Okay. And there, it's kind of loose. You can kind of go either way with it. Mm -hmm. right. And we, always, we talked about already the fact that um, sometimes what somebody sees as close to, somebody else might see differently, exactly. too. Exactly. So. so, for instance, I have a 25 in the original number. So the original number here. Here you go. Little laser pointer, you oh, see that? That's and that's fancy. fancy. That so the fancy. the original number is twenty five. So I would actually keep that the same. I would leave it alone because that's a quick thing to add up. We know quarters and things like that, so we can easily add with twenty five. Yeah. And now thirty seven. I mean, mm -hmm. you can very easily go different ways here. That's right, and that's what we were talking about because mm -hmm. it, you know some people might say forty. That's yep. a close ten, mm -hmm. or even 35 because that's really close to that 37 too. See, there aren't any rules. So what do you think we should try? Well, honestly, I would do, since since I have 25 here, I want another five to add to it. I think that's a good idea. So then I would do, instead of jumping up to 40 like you would in rounding, I would actually go down to 35. That's a good idea because now we can easily add those 10s. Yeah, because five plus five, that's that gives 10. us 10. There you go. And then that will give us 60. Perfect. And you can see 60 is pretty close to the actual number of yeah. 62. Um, and then if you would have rounded that up, or not rounded, if you would have used 40, mm -hmm. I guess, for that for compatible, compatible number, number, you would have been at 65. Which, which is still, it's still pretty close. still really close. Yeah. And really closer than 72 either mm -hmm. way. Absolutely. Okay. So let's do another example for them. Okay. Uh, get a little bigger. So we have 356 plus... 118. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little, little tougher to add. Yeah. So 8 plus 6, we get 14. Mm -hmm. And then 5, 6, 7. And then 3 plus 1 is 4. There you go. Okay. We'll talk Great about... Great adding. Talk about a little bit of adding next week, right? Yeah. Okay. So rounding, just like we did on our rounding video, we could round to the nearest 100. Right. So if I look at my 100s place, that's going to round up to 400. Absolutely. Okay. That five is in that tens place is strong enough to push that to another hundred. That's right. And one hundred and eighteen is gonna round or mm. not really round. It's gonna stay the same. Exactly. Yeah, we don't wanna do anything down, but it yeah. is it that one in the tens place definitely is not strong enough to give it another hundred. So okay. there you go. So then our sum or our total is gonna be five hundred. Perfect. Okay. Which is still really close to that mm -hmm. that answer. Absolutely. Okay. So then let's talk about some compatible numbers. Again, very loose definition here, mm -hmm. but we're kind of looking something for close, mm -hmm. maybe to the nearest 5 or the nearest 10. Exactly. And again, you have something that sort of sits there in that place that either way would be fine because you really could go, you know, to that maybe that 360 mm -hmm. or even 300 and 55, mm -hmm. anything that would make you, that would be real comfortable. Yeah. And for me, again, I kind of, 356 is really close to 355, I so I would use that. I think that's a good idea. Um, and then for the 118, 
you know, you could go down to 115, or mm -hmm. you could, it's, you know, 118 is only two away from 120, so you could really do either one. And 110 is a little bit hard, I mean, a little bit further away, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so maybe that 120. Okay. Yeah. And then when we add those together, we have some pretty easy numbers, 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 3 plus 1 we get 475, which, if, if you notice, is really close to the right answer. Wow. When you talk about being one away when you're doing compatible numbers over here, but then over here, you're over 25 that's right. away. That's that's a big difference when Absolutely. you're talking about the number. Absolutely. So, again, compatible numbers, just another way to estimate. Not really a strict rule. You're looking for fives and tens that make it easy to add. Right. Those friendly numbers. And, friendly numbers. like we said... You may see something differently. So whatever's friendly for you and easy and quick to add for you. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to give them a couple to work with? Yes, I think we should. All right, give us just a sec. All right, so we have a couple examples here. Number one is 23 plus 26, and number two, 254 plus 312. Again, pause the video for a sec and um, try them on your own. And then we'll see if your compatible numbers match what we think we would use. Okay. And again, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to. No. As long no. as it's close. Okay. So go ahead and pause the video. All right. So we have 23 plus 26. What would you, what would you do for compatible numbers? Well, you know, I'm looking at this, and I can see where you might want to do maybe a 20 and a 30. Mm -hmm. But I really think 23 is screaming for maybe two more to be that 25. I agree with you there. And 26 is sitting so close to that that I would do the same thing for that. I think I would do 25 plus 25 plus. That's easy math for me. And I would know that was 50. Very good. So. And if we did the actual answer... You know, we should get pretty close to that. We mm -hmm. look like looks like it's 49. 49. Yeah, so we really are close. Yeah, so you're only one off, so that's nice. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one, we have 254 plus 312. And I'll go ahead and use orange again. So 254, I really want to just bump up to 255. I could see that. Absolutely. Get to that closest mm -hmm. five. And then... What if they went to 250, though? That's, I, mean, I think that's it's fine. Absolutely. You know, you're, bump, you're, you're changing the number by four. Right. Where 255, you're only changing the number by one. And maybe that's something to mention, too, is that maybe the less, the changing the number less is really going to get you closer to the, to the exact answer, too. Yeah. And they don't have, that doesn't have to be a, you know, an end result, but that's, that's really great to only go one and mm -hmm. be so close to the actual number. So. Yeah. So just changing, like 312, if you bump down to 310... Mm -hmm. You're only changing it by two. Instead of going to 315, which you where you're really going that three more. Yeah. So. so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do 310, 310, which would get us to 5, 6, 565. Yeah. Did I do that right? Yeah. Double check me. Mm -hmm. And then the real one, the real 250, 254 plus 312 will get us to... 566. Yeah. So again, we're talking about a difference of one. So you're, you're really getting close. Exactly. All right. So I hope compatible numbers help. I think as math teachers, we, we tend to use this a lot for mental math. Oh, yeah. Um, when we're doing stuff, you know, on the fly, we're, we use compatible numbers quite a bit. So or when I'm out shopping. Oh, that's a big one. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out, do I have enough money to buy this? <laughs> definitely. So I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, and yeah, enjoy. Okay. All right.